Okay, so this is this new bassinet. And as you can see, I purchased the additional leg risers. Uh, it, it's barely noticeable, but it is at a slight incline. Um, it's very slight. It's supposed to help with reflux. Um, so basically the idea is that you want to keep baby's head elevated uh, after feedings to prevent reflux and spit up from occurring. Um, however, I mean, the degree to which this is elevated, um, I find it really doesn't do a whole lot. Um, we really want to keep them elevated sitting up more of like a 45, 90 degree angle. Um, so I'll just keep baby um, more on my chest until I'm ready to put him back into the bassinet. And moving inside, what you have is um, the sleep sack that comes with it. It comes with three sizes, small, medium, and large. And each um, size does indicate the weight of the baby. Um, so I believe the large starts at like 18 to 25 pounds. Um, so we're moving into the large right now. And there are these little wings on the side. Um, so this one I already have clipped on. I don't know if you could tell, but there is a little loop here. And you can't go through the bottom. You have to start at the top. So you just slide it on, slide it all the way down. And then what happens is you are going to put baby inside. So this is going to stay tethered so that the baby cannot move. It's kind of like a little baby straight jacket. Okay, and inside you'll notice that there is the Velcro. Now careful because this does like to stick onto the side of the snoo. So whenever I take them out, I try to fold it back down. But you wanna kind of keep these open when you put baby inside. So baby goes down, you wanna make sure their arms are going to be right here on the sides. Fold it over, zip baby up. I've used sleep sacks as well, um, or uh, wearable blankets. I just kind of tuck it into the bottom here and zip baby up. Um, so this actually can be washed. You take this off and wash it. The actual bassinet pad can be removed to be washed as well. It washes really nicely. Now, if you look at the front, there is a light on. So this has to be plugged in at all times. So if you do not have an outlet nearby, um, you might need an extension cord. Uh, that's something I don't love about it, that it has to be plugged in. It'd be great if it ran on batteries. And then moving underneath, so we have the power button here, and this is the Wi-Fi button. This works with the app, this new app. If you don't want to use the Wi-Fi feature, just press this button and the transmission turns off. Press the power button and it is off. You see the light turn off. I'll press the button again and the light turns on. Now, when baby is inside, what it's doing is it's sensing the cries. I think it has something to do with the wings. Basically, it is going to um, start baby starts moving it senses it on the wings it also they say it hears babies crying and will begin to rock it harder each setting is indicated by a color so blue is the calm setting it just kind of moves it gently from side to side okay press it again and it turns off Really, it does this automatically, but what you want to do if you want to take control is you would use the app as a remote control. So this is the Snoo app. Um, I have it opened. Now when you're, if you want to control it um, through here, you can either start it by pressing this button or by pressing the button on the actual device that I just showed you. So I'm going to start it. And if you do not have the wireless feature engaged, it will not work. 
Okay, so we have this new on. This is at the lowest level, the calm level. We're gonna go up to purple. You can see it moving a little bit more. This is what it looks like at green. It's definitely going faster. And at yellow, even faster, but he's enjoying it. We just took a nap, so we're not tired right now. And this is the highest at red. You notice baby's head is shaking a lot. <laughs> now, um, the company does note this, um, but states that it is no more jarring than when they are in the womb and you're like going up and down stairs or, you know, moving quickly. Um, so it's not dangerous at all. It's, you're not gonna get shaken baby syndrome from this. This is definitely the safest best net on the market. And then what you can do also is just pause it and it'll just stop completely. So just to recap some of the pros of the snoo, um, I love that it senses the baby's discomfort and adjusts the rocking and the noise to fit um, the baby's disposition at the time. I think that's great um, and it's helped lull him back to sleep. It's helped, um, you know, kind of keep him in there a few extra minutes for sure. It's definitely gotten me... Um, another hour or two of sleep a night than I was getting before I was using this new. So it, the claims, um, you know, they do match up to what the company is saying. Uh, a con, I do wish it was a few inches longer. I think that my baby will outgrow it before the six months because uh, he's on the bigger side. He's a very long baby. Uh, pro, I love that you can connect it with your iPhone, but and you have the option to turn the Wi-Fi off if you so choose. So you don't have to use the phone features for the bassinet to work, but it is a great option if you are somebody who wants uh, that technology. Um, but it does need to be plugged in, so that would be one of the cons. Um, if it could possibly work on a backup battery, um, you know, that would make it a little bit more portable or, you know, if there just isn't a great place in your house that, you know, connects to, um, you know, the wall, you know, you might not have it, um, you know, at a place in your room where it connects great to the wall. It might, you know, you might need an extension cord or something. Um, that wasn't the case with us, but it might be for some houses, that might be a problem. Um, I love that you can manually adjust the settings. That would be a pro. Um, so, you know, if I am in bed and I hear baby starting to cry, I could turn up the settings manually myself to try to get him to rock to sleep sooner, um, overriding the actual system, which is great. Um, but I don't like that that feature is only controlled with the app. I wish I could just kind of lean over and touch the side, you know, and bump it up to the next level myself. Um, and if there is a way to do that, I have not figured it out, but I do not believe that is possible. Um, as far as I know, you can only do it within the app. Um, and another con, I wish it could alert you before it got to red. So right now, um, you have to wait until it is on that last level, that highest level, um, and then it will stop and it will send you a text alert saying, um, or notification rather, saying, you know, baby needs your attention. But I wish at, you know, as soon as they weren't calm anymore, it said baby is starting to stir. Baby is getting more agitated. Like I would like those types of things to be sent to me. I'd like an increase in notifications actually. Um, and also the con is the price tag. I mean, 
it is a very expensive item and you can rent it um, but I feel like if you wait for one of the sales um, it's really just about as expensive to rent it as it is to buy it um, I waited for the 30% sale um, I've heard there are 35% off sales um, maybe probably less frequently but um, if you could wait for a 30% off sale um, you know you would save about $100, $200, I think, by renting it. But at that point, I was like, you know, you could always resell it. I, they hold their value really well. Um, I'd say if, you can, if you're at a point where there aren't any sales and it's, you know, spend $1,200 or $700 to rent it, then renting it would definitely be a better option than not having it at all. Um, also maybe an idea is you can split it with some people. If you know someone else who's going to have a baby, maybe like, you know, a couple months after you, or if someone's planning to have another baby, you know, maybe you guys would kind of split the cost of it and then sell it and split that cost once no one is going to be using it anymore. Um, I feel like it does hold its value and it is worth the price tag, um, it's hard to swallow because it is a long, uh, it is a very, very big price tag, but it will be kind of worth it uh, for the sleep. Um, and my last pro is the aesthetics of it. I think it's, you know, it's aesthetically pleasing. It's nice to look at. Um, the design is really great. It's easy to put together as another pro, uh, not complicated to use, and it just works. I like technology that just works. I don't really have any hiccups with it. Um, you know, it does what it says it's going to do. Um, and that is, you know, always, I feel like, worth paying a little bit more for, in my opinion. So I hope that you, um, you know, enjoyed this kind of review, this breakdown, um, kind of tutorial on how to use this new. It's been a really great tool uh, to help my baby go to sleep. And, um, you know, while I know that not everybody would be able to afford it, um, you know, look online, look at Facebook Marketplace, look at Craigslist, you know, I know people are going to sell them when they're not using them because it's an expensive item and it works well and it's not going to just break after six months. So it's something you could definitely use and buy secondhand. So if you can't afford it from the actual company, you know, look in your community for people who are selling it. Um, I think that would be a great option for a lot of people. Um, and I hope this was helpful.